Welcome to How Did We Get Here's one-off commentary of Persona 5 Royal, specifically the Nintendo Switch version, because it just came out a few weeks ago. In between our major uploads, well, we technically ran a poll for this one, even though not many people voted in it, but in between our major uploads, we I thought well, I'd do a commentary of the first, at the end of the first palace in the game. And, um, of course, my co-host here has no idea what any of it, what any of it means. Not an makes, absolute clue. That makes it all the more fun, I think. <laughs> um, but yes. I'm just here to make abstract and snide remarks. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I believe when I last let it off, we were right at started it but uh, send the calling cards so that means the next time we go and we get to do the do the do the fun boss fight it says days until expulsion and that building in the background are you guys like in prison no so let me um let me kind of explain what the deal is here so the our first target aka the person that we're going after is um is the high school gym teacher because he's being you know stereotypical high school gym teacher um and kind of doing some not so uh things be not so good things to some of the um well both the male and the female students the male students he's um well he's physically abusing both of them actually but he's pretty much he's he's not a very he's not a he's not a good guy because he doesn't so. he doesn't discriminate yeah <laughs> um but yeah, we uh, we basically earlier in the game we infiltrated his mind palace, and we're going to steal the what he called the what we call the core of his corrupted desires, or in layman's terms, the treasure. Oh, nice. Um, okay. And if we do that, then apparently, well, I'm gonna I'm saying apparently like I don't know what happens this entire game, but apparently. Um, it'll have him do a change of heart and make him not a terrible person. Because, um, you know, it's that easy with people. You just, someone you don't like, you just break into their mind, steal all their bad desires, and then boom, they're just good. Yeah. Um, and also, I, I should mention that the world that uh, people's mind palaces are in is called um, <laughs> the Metaverse. And this game came uh. out... 2017 and actually 2016 through the Japanese version but yes I see. so okay. Mark Zuckerberg owes Atlas a whole bunch of money that he does <laughs> and like for a metaverse that's honestly probably better than the one that exists right now yeah well um when I first heard that term from like the Facebook thing I, I just I the first I'm like oh it's a persona reference because you know, that's how my mind works, um, and you know clearly that was what Zuckerberg was going for, right? Um, but I actually it's now that I've like haven't played this game for a while, um, now now this oh hey game, it's four twenty, happy oh, weekend yeah. everyone. Oh we're actually gonna we're actually gonna fight the boss on four twenty nice. Because I remember we were one day off from doing that in the Persona 4 video. Oh, we were. That's right. Yeah, that was totally unintentional. This is the best day to do all of this. Basically, what I'm doing here is since I managed to grab a seat on the train, I read a thing and my stats increased. Because that's how that works. Oh, that's nice. In real uh, life. You just pick up a filthy newspaper on the subway, and then it's like, boom, perception increase. Yep, exactly. And it's like our, um, like, companion talking character in this game, a talking cat. Uh, yes, indeed. Do any other animals in this game talk? Um... I'm thinking about it. I don't think so. Um, but, you know, Persona 4, it was a talking bear, and Persona 3, it was a robot. 
they each each game has or each game post three i guess has their like uh, mascot character i guess and they all coincidentally except for in persona 3 they all, all coincidentally are the worst characters in the game and they're all just talking animals that the characters are like yeah no other animal in the universe does this but we're just not freaking out about this one fine oh yeah i should also mention um are the reason our main character is here is because he was expelled from his previous school and they will waste no time in telling you that about 50,000 times at the beginning of the game. But he was oh, that's expelled nice. from his school in, uh, I guess, like, in rural Japan, but he was expelled because he, um, he was trying to prevent a guy from sexually assaulting someone, and that guy just so happened to have strong political ties with um, uh, people, and he managed to sue us, and now we're on academic probation. Oh, that's nice. And he says, um, he says, damn brat, I'll sue about three different times in three different, um, flashbacks. Oh yeah, this no, is it. the teacher, by the way. <laughs> in case you huh. hadn't, in case, in case you hadn't figured that out yet. Hadn't picked up on that, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's his uh, cognitive version, aka the, the the distorted one in the other world. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Under judging. understood. Noted. Does that mean the treasure's appeared? We'll be able to get it today, right? It's not just today. The impact of seeing a calling. It's only today because, of course, it's only today. But hey, if you're gonna make it only one day, do make it 420. Yep. And you can quote me on that. I will be skipping a lot of the dialogue because um, there is a lot. Of, there are many other places if you want to see the story. There's plenty of good 500 episode long let's plays out there on YouTube. Oh yeah, I had the I had the dancing costumes on. Um, I can actually. I don't think it'll matter here because the the music in the background stays this same. Uh, when you're infiltrating to steal the treasure, but normally um, the um, the costume you put on changes the battle music, but that doesn't really That's matter. Cool. Uh, so I think I'll just stick with the uh, stick with the dancing. Actually, I'm in the dancing. They're in like the Persona Three outfits, and yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So we can just fast travel. I think right to the end. <laughs> Which is kind of a weird design choice because all when you were exploring the palace previously, they uncovered like all these like shortcuts to get through. So that makes me originally that makes me think that like originally you were supposed to make your way all the way through there by yourself, but for some reason they chickened out at the last second and <laughs> just said, "Never mind." Sure, why not? Come on, man. Uh, Always got to wear your best dancing clothes whenever you're in, uh, trying to get into a PE teacher's head. Yeah. They're also playing the instrumental version of like, well, like the third best song in the game. Oh, they took away my clothes, dang it. Oh, um, no. Man, it's huge. Um, That's what she said. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> There's a lyrical version of the song and it's... I like it better. I don't know. Also, the uh, the voice for our uh, <laughs> uh, the voice for our main guy here is the um, is the announcer in Smash Bros. It's the same person, oh. ah. which is weird considering um, considering his voice in this game doesn't really sound like the announcer like whatsoever. I wouldn't have known if you wouldn't have told me. Well, he hasn't really talked at all, but he talks like in the battles. But he doesn't talk like in the he's he's the he's the quintessential silent protagonist except for like two times for no reason. He's silent except for when he isn't. Right. And like Even obviously like the, this is obviously like this the, is a trap right here. 
but I yeah. feel like they could have made his fake desires be, you know, something a little less cliche. Um, well, I think the, all, pretty much all the palaces are like this. It's like, what, um, oh, we're leveling up Morgana's social link. That's nice. All right. Um, but like, uh, the other ones are pretty much just like this. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Let's just say this game earns its E10 plus rating here. Of course. I will let anyone take this. This proves that I am the king of... That rat bastard. That's how he sees me, isn't it? Yo, pervert. Will you wait to ambush us? Why is he saying that like a white kid trying to enter a rap battle? That's our line, you... What a selfish... Man. I don't... <laughs> I never really, I guess I never thought of it like that, but I guess that, that kind of fits, yeah. Also, he has yellow eyes, because of course he does. No no good person ever in the history of fiction ever has yellow eyes. Yes, real Sith moment right there. Or um, that one guy from A Christmas Story. Uh, Scott Farkas. I'm trying to remember the name. Yeah. I think yeah. they they made it a point in that movie to be like he had yellow eyes. Yeah, no if I remember correctly, it's been a while. But I'm cut above all other humans. The Burger King be like <laughs> point literally the burger or he's the king of something. Yeah, I'm with Ryuji on this one. Yeah. Also, where'd that woman go? Uh, I think she's in the cup. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna be back in our dancing outfits here. It's, oh uh, boy! It's a um, it's a battle because it's like in the while you're exploring and in battle, it's you get to use your costumes. The over there. That's nice. Yep. Dancing time. Yes. Back in our best dancing clothes. Also, if I die in this boss fight, I'm going to go to the um, I'm going to the Velvet Room, and I'm getting the most overpowered persona in the game because I don't want to do this more than once. Um, wait, what do I even have equipped? So I have Incubus here. Um, level seven. Oh yeah, I have Orpheus. I want to try this. Uh. Let's go... Decrease attack. Uh, I think... So I think what the key for this is, we need to attack that trophy, but since it's kind of scripted, it's not going to let us do that yet. Because that would okay. be too easy. Uh, so yeah, he's going to do his thing. And wait, why is his tongue like... Silvery blue and the rest of him like pink. I don't know, man. When, it's... I just like, I have a question in the design. Persona. Yeah, um, can't exactly answer that. I, that's just, that's just how it is. That's how it be. Also, I think I have some like broken healing items in here. Yeah, I have like a bunch of broken Rancid items. Rancid gravy. Yeah, because um, in this version of the game, they included all the DLC from the PS4 version, and that DLC included not only OP personas, but also just like some of the <laughs> best healing items in the game. Because um, sure, just, why not? Just, just for fun. Just for fun. Because I too want Rancid Gravy. As it recovers 50% HP and increases attack, defense, accuracy, and evasion for all allies. That sounds pretty good. Uh, yes please. Alright, uh, I don't think he can sleep, so... Actually, let me, let me do gun. Honestly, that would have been, like... 
I was in real life doing this fight and I had a gun as my item, that would have been my first thing. But, you know, to each their own. Well, yeah, the guns are pretty good. Uh, or in his case, slingshot. The guns are pretty good early in the game, but they kind of lose their value. Um, oh, yeah, it's just going to heal. Um, they pretty they lose their value uh, later. They just don't do as much. They don't really scale with the enemies. Uh, okay, yep, uh, destroy the trophy. Stop him from healing. Speaking of destroying the trophy, two freshmen at school yesterday uh, destroyed the glass on one of our trophy cases because they were doing, you know, freshman things freshman before thing. school, and they broke the glass on our trophy case. So that was fun, Friend. but apparently yeah. my school just had a replacement already in hand because by the end of the day, there was You'll a perfectly that. cut and sized piece of glass ready to go and ready to be put in this weekend. So I guess that's just like in the school's contingency plan. Yeah, they but, were they were they were surprised it hadn't happened earlier. Like they, these freshmen were just so mad that they had to break the trophy case to the state golf qualifiers 2020 sixth place trophy. <laughs> That's, uh, so you said that you said this happened like on Monday. <laughs> Seven yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> At that point, the, our hero is just like, "Yep, time to pull out the Glock." Yeah, I love I love holdups. I'll think about that later. You see, normally you choose the dialogue option that appeals most to most, most to the enemy, so you can get them to join your side. That's how you get new personas. But in this case, they just pick the most chat answer. He's doing the Smash Bros. It's, thing. I was about to say, it's Smash time. Except we don't get the part at the end. That only happens when you kill an enemy, and he's not dead yet. Shame. What's the next phase? I kind of forgot. <laughs> it's been like a year since I played this game. Uh, I think that tongue is just bothering me. Like, why can't we have a move just to cut it off? Or like, why can't he just put it back? Uh, oh yeah, there's cognitive Yuki Mishima, who is a so it's his perception of one of the other students. Um, Mishima is, hits himself as a very good character. Oh, we don't know that. Is he yet. a beta male? He's a he's a redditor, is what he is. Ah, is what, okay. Because like later on, he becomes like the the admin for the Phantom Thieves fanzite. Um, and uh, that's like the main point of his social link is to make him stop being a redditor. redditor. You can take the Reddit away from the boy, but you can't take the boy out of the Reddit. That's an impossible task right there. <laughs> Good thing I guarded that. Yeah, beat it, beta male. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um... So that's the uh, that's the cognitive version of one of uh, our party members' best friends who tried to kill herself earlier. Ah, you know, because this game is just so normal. It's so. Uh, what do we do? I want to uh, target Kamashita, I think. Let's go. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to reapply my buffs. Uh, yes, whenever your buffs run out, it has to tell you all of them. Um, I love how Ryuji's just carrying around a spiked bat, like, just because. 
Not even I to use it, just carrying it. Well, you can, but your default attack's not that good. But I think his initial weapon was like a lead pipe, I think. Who did he murder with the lead pipe? Uh, well, I think you're- oh, I forgot to guard this. This might end badly. Well, I dodged. Uh, that's good. Uh, oh, them two didn't, so, uh, real quick. Gotta... <laughs> Time to put that in the health care. I choose Obamacare. You're all healed. Alright. Um, I think I'll use this on you. I think, like, their default weapons, they spawned out of... Um, out of their, like, what they thought they would, they would use as a weapon. <laughs> so I guess Ryuji was always meant to wield a lead pipe. Huh. And we have a knife. Uh, later on, there's a guy with a katana. He's pretty cool. Um, Alright, well, I want to... Oh, and I'm out of SP. I'm one SP short, no less. Um, no less. Do I have, like, a thing that does all... Uh, I have a Molotov cocktail. You have a Molotov weapon. cocktail? Just eat one of those at him. Uh, what does that do? 50 fire damage to one foe, that's not that good. Um, um, what does Rancid Gravy do? Rancid Gravy restores 30% to one ally but and raises raises their accuracy and evasion but lowers attack. Calm down. Um, that's such a... Like, of all the random items in games... That has to be one of the most random items I've ever seen or heard. Rancid gravy. Nice. One more! Got it. I'll use this one, actually. Actually, I'll use my default attack. Got it. All right. Okay, so he's all alone now. Yeah, so this is where we send someone to uh, go for the crown. I see. Look over at that terrace. While the others are drawing commerce, let's steal the treasure. With all right, who should I send? I can go whenever you want. I can go whenever you want. You got it. Keep right. Ryuji seems super passionate right now. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's he's the he's the bro. He's the quintessential bro character. Um, I have any other healing moves? It's not twenty seven or twenty four SP. Yes, I do. That. Ow. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'll heal. I'll heal myself. So wait, how do you figure out like in game that you can go into people's minds or go into like the mind world? So, um, I think. <laughs> So it was like on like the first day of school or something, you and Ryuji here are walking to school and then accidentally are warped to this world uh, without you knowing. And then they like eventually find out how to do it um, um, on purpose. Because then they can figure. Huh. Cause Morgana here is, um, he's apparently from this world is what he says. And he knows like the ins and outs or whatever. This is where they found him. They found him in here, and then they took him out, and it just so happened that he took the form of a real-life cat. Ready when you are. Because, of course. Because you could choose anything in our physical world, and you decide, you know what, let's go with the cat. 
Well, that's like one of his quote unquote um, character traits is whenever someone calls him a cat, he says, I'm not a cat. And it's like, shut up. Uh, use this. Okay, almost done, I think. Do I have any guns? No, I don't. Um, no guns, sadly. Yeah, I'm all out of all, my, all, all out of ammo. Well, get default attacked. Yeah, whatever, man. Ryuji's such a bro. Oh yeah, it'll, it'll take him a while. And he just like defied the laws of gravity to jump all the way from the ground up to that ledge. I'm not wasting any more SP. I'm just default attacking now. I like you get a critical hit with a default attack in this game because you do your regular attack and then you do like a back roll and then you shoot them in the face with your gun. And it looks really oh, nice. cool. But I don't think we can do that here because it's a boss. What's the odds of critting with a default? Uh, well, it changes depending on um, depending on like your stats or whatever. Uh, but it's like like probably like like ten percent probably on like a regular enemy. Hmm. At least from my experience. Yeah, the girl just has a rusty chain. As her weapon, I give you tetanus. I think it was originally like a leather whip, but the <laughs> metal one was uh, gave like an upgrade in attack power. You know, as all students do to teachers. At least it's let me get closer to the treasure. I think he's almost done. And in case you haven't noticed, Morgana here is our narrator for battles up until like halfway through the game. And um, it's it's not that fun. <laughs> Just like in Persona 4. Super yeah. annoying. Could not yeah. care less. And then you Telling get us things we already know. And then you get a replacement halfway through and like... I don't know, I think Persona 3's was okay, the replacement that they gave. Um, but Persona 4 and 5... They're all kind of annoying. Um, but, yeah. Alright. I'm just like, I'm just saying, you have the announcer for Smash on your payroll. Like, use him, use him to good use. Because that sentence makes sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. Put him to yeah. good use. But instead, you, you have to say, that's not right. Well, they had him record voice lines for announcing all of the names of every persona. So now you have, you canonically have the, um, canonically, you have the voice actor of, or you have the, um, the announcer from Smash Bros. saying things like Lucifer and Satan. And Incubus. Incubus. No way he makes, no way he makes that jump, no way. It's the, it's, the, it's the metaverse. Anything's possible. And where'd all that wind come from? What do you mean? They're like, there looked like there was wind in the shrubberies and stuff like that. It's, I think it's emanating off of them, you see. Oh, I see that now. I was just yeah. so confused. I was like, how is there wind inside of somebody's head? I just now noticed that too. <laughs> Uh, what should I, I'm gonna, I wanna change to, is he weak to light? A persona change. You're mine. Oh, that did a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, it did. I think, I, I think it, I think, because we took the crown off, his defense is, like, zero. Yeah. One more good attack, maybe? Yeah. Got him. First try. Oh yeah. 
they took the um and we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> they, they took the victory music from the costume that I was using, so... It's not the regular Persona 5 victory music, it's the one from Persona 4 Dancing. I love how, like, it says 12,000 money, they don't even give, like, a monetary unit, well, it's, it's just money. It's, it's 12,000 yen. It said That's money the, on the thing. Well, it had the yen symbol. But yeah, that's you, you use yen in this game to go and um, buy drugs from the local clinic, which does happen. And you have a social very, link with the doctor. Very um, ride to hell retribution of you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> She has the girl that tried to kill herself. Sure she was scared too. Well, oh yeah. You Will you jump? Or would you rather die here? Man, that was dark. Oh man, the costumes are gone. It's a pre-rendered cutscene. Do you want to finish him off? It's your call. No, please wait. I beg you. Just forgive me. Shut up. I bet everyone told you the same. But you you took everything from them! I can't speed up this. I, I accept defeat. You want this? Take it. I don't want to skip it. Uh, go ahead and finish me off. You do that, and my real self. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. You have that right. Since you've won. Since you've won, like, there's just an arbitrary set of rules governing these. If his mind shuts down. He can't admit his crimes. You're kind, Lady On. Yeah, he calls her Lady On for some reason. I don't really know why. Lost. You're through. When you lost. Add, add that to the checklist of reasons why Morgana is weird. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> he is in Smash Bros, though. Oh, because of course he is. Yeah, he's in the taunts. All of Joker's taunts. He says, looking cool, Joker. And he says that whenever you knock down an enemy, an enemy. And he says it every time. There's no other voice line for doing it. It's always the same. I think we can. And then that cuts. dude. Yeah, anime. Cuts. That dude. Just became one with the force. Then. He just vanished. Something like that. In the beginning of the game, they have a lot of these anime cutscenes, but then there's like none until like the very end of the game. They spent all their budget at the beginning. Oh yeah, he was on the track team. I didn't mention that, but that's part of his character, I guess. And that teacher ah. messed up his, uh, his knee. Ah, the obligatory, the palace is collapsing only after we defeat the villain cliche. And oh, also yeah, the obligatory. That, that they, they literally say that it's because his the shadow isn't there anymore, then the palace can no longer exist. So they they try to give a reason for it. They try to work around that. Oh yeah, we go through it. We go there through an app on our phone because it's the year twenty seventeen. Because of course. And, you know, committing Persona 3 is uh, not very culturally acceptable anymore. Well, the way that that worked there was because in that game, they were they, um, they did a thing where it was like every day has an extra hour added to it called the dark hour. And that hour is the hour that you can use your Persona and everyone else turns into a coffin and doesn't know that it exists. Uh, hmm. And they say that if you have the potential... Then you don't, you don't turn it into a coffin during the dark hour. And then in Persona 4, they were like, it's the year 2008, let's go through a TV. Of course. Although I'm half surprised you didn't end up going through it as an MP3 player. Yeah. Well, they... I was going to say they use a CRT TV, but no, they actually don't. They use a flat screen in the, at the local Walmart. At the local Walmart. 
girl. It's not called Walmart. It's called Juness, but it's basically Walmart. Yeah. Pretty much Walmart. Ain't there a way to check now? All the way down to um, destroying all the local uh, local businesses. Of course. Which, which is canon in the game. Uh, Walmart, enough. Walmart does canonically drive businesses out of town. Come on, why the gloomy faces? Be happy. I'm skipping your dialogue. I'm pretty sure. Remember how Kamoshida sh we all know yeah, okay, Morgana. Can it. We get it. Still, he did seem to regain his conscience. I'm sure it worked. There are definitely those who have been saved, thanks. Yeah. Anyways, I guess we gotta wait. Yeah, now we gotta wait until the day that we would have been expelled for stuff to happen, because they can't assume that you didn't wait until the very last second to do the do the dungeon. Yeah. Well, that's super convenient. Very productive 420, if I do say so myself. I agree. Uh, do we live in the back of a cafe? We live in the attic of a cafe. And is there any particular reason, like, why? Uh, that guy here, he owns the cafe, and he offered to take us in for our probation. Because he reminded us of someone, I think. Something like that. That was part of his character. Just some vague reason to give us a house in a hub world that isn't actually a house in a hub world. Yeah, so it still says days until exposure and await the change of heart. So yeah, we have to wait 12 days, but... That's, uh, Is there a way we could speed run that by sleeping? We could actually. Like so, av after you um, after you <coughs> go Aren't to me. the metaverse, you're too tired to do anything for the rest of the day. So the only thing you can do is go to sleep. Let's go to bed. I love how Morgana's just there whispering sweet nothings like you need to go to bed. You say that that's a joke, but like he. <laughs> He will eventually get on you for not going to bed. He's like, don't you think we've done enough for today? We should go to bed. And you can't do anything. And you can't do anything about it. That guy on the train was playing as PS Vita, and that is canon. That is canon. Because the only thing, uh, the only thing that's consistent across all universes is uh, Sony product placement. Yeah. I don't know if it's like actually canonically a PS Vita, but it looks exactly like one, even though this is the... We'll, uh, accept, we'll accept it as canon. Even though this is the Nintendo Switch version, but this game was originally a PS4 exclusive, so... Oh. I think it was uh, a Vita. Study hall will be held instead of PE today. I'm letting you know just in case you haven't heard. Mr. Kamashiro... Thanks, person I've never met before. I wonder why he's taking the day off. He ain't here? Don't tell anyone that you heard this from me. But we received word that Mr. Kamoshida, as such principal Kobayakawa, went to talk. Wait, a suspension? Wait, ain't that bad? Not so loud. It talks about your experience. That's a joke for later in the game. I don't. Anyway, I've relayed what's going on to you. I've relayed what's going on to you. That's the most like NPC line I think I've ever heard. At least it sounds different from the mental shutdown. I will nod. <laughs> I was just like, yes, nod. I love how after school is its own time period. Yeah, after school is the most lengthy, most lengthy time period of all. Because it, because it lasts until you do something. You should work on your kindness. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. All right, yeah, then. So after that, you pretty much get free time to level up your confidence. Or, let me see, is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Languid, do languid Doctor, go. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, this is where I buy drugs from. <laughs> Take from the Take Me Medical Clinic. Hakemi, thank you very much. <laughs> but on the thing, it made it the way it uh, was spelled out made it look like it was Take Me. 
instead of Takemi. I'm sure that's a, a common misconception. Oh. What are you trying to do? So these aren't voice, so I'm just gonna speed run this, cause uh cause I've already done this before. Is she wearing heels at a pharmaceutical office? Yes, she is. <laughs> it is a it sure is a fashion statement. Uh, most definitely. Also, there's something behind that curtain, but I don't know what it is. They never I'm gonna say it's a dead body. Money on dead body. Oh yeah, we just fainted, by the way. Oh. I think we get guts for this. <laughs> you get guts for fainting? We get guts points. Oh yeah, we're going back to the... I didn't even mention the part where this entire portion of the game is actually just a giant flashback to to the to a point in the game where you're being interrogated by someone. Cuz you start the oh, game fantastic. getting captured getting captured in the in the metaverse and now you're you're being interrogated to technically the event up the the events of the game up to this point is just you relaying all the information to this lawyer. But, in the metaverse that you just happen to trust, and now you're like relaying to her is like, "Hey, I passed out on some girl's cot in the back of a shady pharmacy." It's actually funny yeah. the lengths that the game will go to to connect the confidant um, abilities you get to like abilities in the metaverse because it's like hey. you'll get the confidant that's like, um, or you get the social link that's like. Um, this social link will help you improve your gun skills and then it flashes okay. back and then it's like it looks to us that you were pretty good with guns you must have had you must have had someone to help with your gun usage and um it's the, the confidants literally with like a nine-year-old kid who's good at shooting guns at the arcade and it's like okay okay he wears a definitely hat not says, a stretch get, he wears a hat that says get smoked <laughs> okay Okay, child. I'm I think I think, I think I think we're gonna have to put you down. Ooh, I can confidant with 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 Sojiro here. With Mr. Bartender yeah. at a cafe, but I'm gonna call him Mr. Bartender. How school? You're not causing any trouble, are you? I like his voice. His voice is nice. <laughs> I might be. I've got to report to your probation officer twice a month. It's already a pain in the ass as is, so please don't make me have to write even more crap. Got that? This society is kept in check by laws and authority figures. We live, we do indeed live in a society. We do indeed live in a society. This entire game is basically just we live in a society, the game. <laughs> Sponsored by, you guessed it, everyone's favorite character, Joker. Yeah, we are the Joker. <laughs> I know. The usual, right? Okay. I'll He's talking to a character we can't see yet, but will become important to the plot see, later. Damn busy, both at work. If you could and uh, the usual cliche. The gimme the usual cliche. <laughs> see, I kinda like I kinda like picking like the jerk options just to be funny, but there's some characters that I just can't be mean to because it's just like physically impossible. You agree to help me. I mean, like, this dude is housing you right now. I wouldn't yeah, be mean to like, him. That's the thing. It's like... It's like, I don't think I should do that. Right. <laughs> it's not a very good idea. Like we got ourselves a deal. So the distance between... Oh, we're, we're flashing back to the future. Oh, oh. What's the, what's the excuse going to be this time? Why, are, why is this person relevant? I see you're pretty good with uh, talking to... Uh, depressed 50 year old men you call yourself a phantom thief but you're still a minor someone had to support you. oh i guess that that Further makes sense they did so knowing you were a part of that group isn't the owner of that cafe an accomplice of yours okay you got me yeah you got me thou art i thou hast acquired a new it shall become the wings of rebellion with the birth okay of the Skipping this like this is the end poem at the end of Minecraft. Exactly. I do this. They do this every time. 
it, all the first two lines are always the same, and the third line is different depending on what the Arcana is. And this one's Hierophant. I don't even know what that means. All right. But... Sure thing. I'll be counting on your sure help. thing. The names of the Arcana in this game, I think, are like based on like tarot cards like in real. Like, in, in real life. I owe you one. Wouldn't um, surprise me. But... Uh, some of them don't make sense. Like, the one I just got with that doctor was the Death Arcana. And it's like, I guess it oh, makes okay. sense. No clue what that could be. I'm gonna head back then. He's wearing his, the... Someone, I forgot what, who called it that, but he was wearing his, what, someone called the Pimp Hat. That's for he just, sure. He just wears it sometimes. Oh, it's Vita Guy. There he is. Oh yeah, there he is. It's Vita guy. Hmm. What year does this game take place in the year 2017? I think canonically, I think canonically it takes place in I want to say 2019. I don't know where I read that, but I saw that somewhere. I think huh. I think they say that because like there's like cameos like on the TV that you can see, and it like relates to characters from Persona 4. And it says how long it's been since that, and since that game canonically took place in 2011, I think. Like, there's, like, you can, like, make, like, a timeline or something. I'm sure there's a nice big wiki about it. It's kind of like how the Ace of the, the Phoenix Wright timeline is all, like, the real-world dates that are used in that timeline are all based around one single line of dialogue at the end of Phoenix Wright, uh, the first Ace Attorney game. They say like the year two thousand four or something, and the entire timeline is based on that. No it's other based dates, off of that single line. No other dates are ever. No other real world dates or or years are ever used. It's all based on that. Oh my, uh... <laughs> Just a singular line. I think that's, that's actually really kind of funny, funny though. Yeah. Have I mentioned how much I like this game's menus? They're very cool. Very um. Uh, Persona-esque, to say the least. Yeah, these are all my social links. <laughs> there's the there's the man, the myth, the legend, Igor himself. I was the, gonna uh, call him Doorway Sniffer, but that works yeah, too. Yeah, he's got the, the, <laughs> the very long nose. Uh, Master of the Velvet. The Iron Icelandic Nose. Christmas elf himself, Doorway Sniffer. Uh, the worst. There's that guy, uh, party member, party member, doctor, and that's all that we've got so far. But going through the rest of those days is going to take too long, so I'm just going to cut it off here. Actually, actually, so wait. we are going. Actually, one, one. Let me, let me, let me see this text from from Ryuji. I think he's he wants to hang out. No, actually. I'll speed. I'll I'll speed run this. Then when we get back to the cafe, then we can call it. Hmm. Let me speed run this. Rank it. Ryuji's rank like, hey, let's athletics, and you're like, sure, why not? And I think like the dudes from the old. The, the, he's saying something about the track team or something. That's what his. That's what his. Um. That's what his confidant is about. But uh, I kind of forgot. All right. <laughs> There's, a, there's, a, there's like a few videos on YouTube that like explain every single social link in this game in, 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 in detail. I don't think I need to. In great to. detail. Uh, uh, are your legs okay? Sure. That gave me one social link point. I was about to say, and then you're like, ha, social link achieved. I, uh, I think it's funny. It's like time canonically does not pass unless you until you enter that door right there. Then it becomes evening. And then it just otherwise... becomes evening. So is conceivably, after school could be days on end. Yeah, it just doesn't. It does unless you cross that that barrier into the cafe. It doesn't. Let's do it. It doesn't change. I like his voice lines when you press the save button. I should write something. He says, I should write something. Because <laughs> uh, in universe, the saving takes place in a notebook, which I think like 50% hmm. of games do. It's 
like a notebook like this game does it pokemon does it xenoblade 3 does it <laughs> it's like i guess all my RPGs question is if this game came out in 2017 and you know they were already trying to be modern enough with the phone why isn't this guy saving it by typing it as a note into his phone well he has a phone here you can there's like your text or whatever but i think this guy here gave us the notebook he's like write stuff down and it's like okay this is how i will save the game this and you're like sure game. why not and but with that i will return to title you will indiana jones swing yourself back to title yeah that's uh, uh let, me, let me watch this this title screen animation just Bam, there we go. Um, but yes, that is the end of the um, the commentary for Persona 5 Royal, at least for now. This was actually shorter than the Persona 4 one, which I was not expecting. Probably because we didn't have to try multiple times, but I guess it works. Fair anyway, my voice, my voice is getting tired because I had to explain this game, which is a task. To to a noob like me but you know what that's fine i still don't really get anything i just yeah. don't get things slightly better now but yes that's so, all i'm appreciative in between our big uploads be uh keeping an eye out for our next one it's a it's a big one it's uh it is indeed a big one we've been working, working really hard on this but anyway with that being said uh Oh wait, that's this is your job, actually. Well, I mean, you already took it, so yeah, just be prepared for our next big upload. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Cue the outro.